Okay, unit seven, day five, law of cosines. So we've done law of science, now we're moving on to law of cosines. So <clears throat> given triangle A, B, and C, you use law and cosines when you have side angle side or when you have side, side, side. So when you're given two, or two sides with the angle in between or three sides, okay? And it's A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of A or B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine of B. Notice the first and the last are always the same and then the middle ones are the same. Or C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of C. Okay, so basically for finding sides, it's the missing side squared, and that equals the given side squared plus the given side squared minus 2 times the two given sides times the cosine of the given angle. Okay, or to find angles, it's the opposite side of the angle squared equals the adjacent side squared plus the adjacent side minus 2 times the adjacent sides times the cosine of the missing angle. Okay, that will all make sense once we get into actually doing these. But we have to go through a proof first because you guys have to at least see the proof, see where it comes from. So I'm just going to label this. That's angle A. The side opposite is side A. That's angle B. The side opposite is side B. That's angle C. The side opposite is side C. Okay, and I'm just going to drop down a height right there and an altitude. So that breaks this triangle up, and that's going to be a right angle right at the bottom. I'm going to call that H for height, okay? And I'm going to call that X. So AC is X, which means um, CB, or whatever, not CB, but that length right there. Let's label this D, I guess. Label that D. That's not going to stay. But So that AD is X. And DB is C minus X, because the whole length is C. So we're just going to label A, D, X, and B, D, C minus X. Okay? Now, X squared plus 8 squared equals B squared, just from the Pythagorean theorem right there. Same thing with this right triangle, or the other triangle. So that would be C minus X squared plus H squared equals A squared. I'm going to solve both of those for h squared. So that's h squared equals b squared minus x squared. This one's h squared equals a squared minus c minus x squared. Okay. And then I can just set those equal to each other because they're both equal to h squared. So I can just set them equal to each other. So that's b squared minus x squared equals a squared minus c minus x squared. I'm going to square out that c minus x. So that's c squared minus 2cx plus x squared which then I distribute that subtraction sign. So it's b squared minus x squared equals a squared minus c squared plus 2cx minus x squared. Okay. If I add that x squared over, they'll cancel each other out. And I'm left with b squared equals a squared minus c squared plus 2cx. Okay. And I'm just going to rearrange this. I want it so it's a equals or a squared equals. So I'm going to add the c squared over, subtract the 2cx. So I get a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2cx. Now, I need to solve for x. So I'm going to find the cosine of angle A. Cosine of A is b over x because it's adjacent over hypotenuse, which means x equals b cosine of A. Then I can just plug that in for that x. So that's a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2c times b cosine of a. Rearrange that a little bit, and you get a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. And that's the proof for the law of cosines. And if you had to do it for b squared or c squared, you do it in the same exact way. Okay? So now let's just get into finding sides. So remember, this is missing side equals given, given, and then all that other junk. So my missing side here is x. My given sides are 23 and 9, and my given angle is 71. So I'm just going to plug that in. So that's going to be x squared equals a given side, so that's 9 squared, 
plus 23 squared minus 2 times 9 times 23 times the cosine of 71. And then put the whole entire thing into your calculator. So put that whole right side into your calculator. So that's 9 squared plus 23 squared 